How's it going everybody? I'm Danny D. This is 7 Daily Bananas and we're about to watch Euphoria Season 1, Episode 8, Final Episode, coming at you. This is it. This is it, right? Like all of the stories that we've been seeing are about to clash or uh, at least come to a breaking point to give you anticipation on watching the next season, which is something I truly hate. I truly hate that about a lot of series most of the time. I already know from the storylines that this will continue on to the second season, like what we're about to see. And there's a lot to unravel from the last episode. So let's just get rocking. Let's pull this Band-Aid off and get this show going because there's so many directions it could go. And me, I'm just thinking worst case scenario every time I see something unravel. And I'm wondering if sooner or later I'll be right, <laughs> which I think this would be the episode. <laughs> let's get it on. Let's do this. I am very expecting to cry this episode. Very expecting to cry One of the episode. benefits of showing up at the hospital in the middle if, of the night If things happen the way I think it's going to happen. Is that the first thing they do? Take this with a full cup of water. I think they'll just go with plain Tylenol. Are you sure? Kidney infections are extremely painful. Mm. I'm sure. It's a whole pass. God, please don't get away. According not to the not that necessarily. Have, <laughs> pretty extreme substance abuse issues. So. If I ever come back here with cancer, uh, I really hope you're not my doctor. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm serious. <laughs> That's how you know it's a relapse right there. Thank you. It's also the best place to be in the event of a mass shooting. Unless a gunman kills all the surgeons. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that would make sense in terms of combating anxiety. Everything's taken care of for you. You don't have to worry about anything. It would be a pretty cozy place, I think, for someone who has anxiety. Mm -hmm. I am deeply... <laughs> Listen, you look hot. Nice. And the fact that you usually dress like Seth Rogen, although you make it cute sometimes, like. But a corset? Why would it? <laughs> I can't imagine a corset being comfortable for anybody. Oh. oh. That's that's a mark. Did it like feel good? Yeah, it felt amazing. That's a tickle spot, actually. The hip. That's right there. That must have. I'm pretty sure I would have. If, if it were me, I'd probably kick. <laughs> It probably wouldn't be a good idea. It's good that they're honest. Although I don't know yeah, if, yeah, if yeah. Rue wants to hear stuff like that, but. Me too. If I ever had the chance, I would fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh my god. What a fucking pussy. Uh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> I am willing to bet literally everybody out there was wishing like pretty much the same thing. What if in that moment I heard a voice, some omniscient narrator who said, here's what's going to happen. Your daughter is going to be funny and smart. Never had to go through this or anything like that. It's kind of intervention, kind of end of rehab promotion kind of thing, I think. They do it They do it in a lot of different formats, but I know I'd be, it would be uncomfortable and it would be a very emotional situation, I'm sure. To tell her it's okay. You think this makes me look stupid? No, not in the least. Good job, mom. From home to school, Asshole. <laughs> is that her hair or is that a wig? I don't know if I've ever seen her with her hair all the way down. Oh shit. Okay, he's not going after Nate, is he? Oh, Fez, don't get yourself fucked up here. I definitely haven't peaked. Um, I feel like I'm not even a person yet. Yeah, I'm definitely uh, at like 25% peakedness. I think it's just evolved, really. I think our, like, like for me, it was a completely separate generation. I feel like our high school was after high school. I think our high school became college. Only I didn't go to college, but I definitely acted like I went to college. <laughs> if you're talking about the parties and all that. Uh. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You got like every stage of a party happening here. What the fuck? First of all, uh, ew. <laughs> Second of all, ew. I just got a lot of shit on my mind, okay? Like right now? Like during sex? <laughs> Stop. Stop what? I'm talking. You literally had like 40 different guys' dicks in your phone. No, I told you not to fucking tell anyone. Yeah, well, I told people before you told me not to tell anyone. Yeah, but you told <laughs> Ouch. Maybe you're not hard anymore. 
keep talking. Come on, keep fucking talking. Mm. Keep talking. Ah. If you're into guys. I'm into fucking guys. Man. Sexuality Jesus is a Christ. spectrum. Fuck, what the fuck are you it's not about? like anyone's 100% straight or 100% gay. Bro. That is 100% bullshit. Mm. God, that was hard. I felt like I literally just envisioned kicking him in the nuts or something, just clutching my jaw. <laughs> Jesus. I really can't handle watching shit like that. I can't. I just can't. That's odd. <laughs> That's not you stare at yourself while jerking it. <laughs> if you like those highlights and you want to see more of me watching this completely unedited, hit that link below. Seven Deadly Bananas on Patreon. We are watching a bunch of movies. We're watching a whole bunch of things planned out for the future. Get in there now while you can. Five bucks gets you started. We appreciate all the support you can give us. And have some fun watching TV with me. Can you dance? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Did anybody else know couples like this? The constant breaking up and getting back together. I don't think I I don't think I ever saw any kind of like abuse or anything, but definitely arguments and rageful words and break up. I think I knew one couple in high school that probably broke up and got back together at least like eight or nine times. No, why don't you like kiss kiss me? Do you want me to like kiss kiss you? That's <laughs> so funny how people end up doing that. They double the word to emphasize it. <laughs> there you go. Mr. Nice Guy. If he ends up being a douche, I'm gonna be very disappointed. What's my favorite word? Hey. Um, can I talk to you for a second? Um, yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> This is no, good. I mean, like, is one of us gonna get hurt? This is a feel good. Finally, it's just like good. Yeah. This is a feel good moment. I'm crying. Yeah, you are. It's okay. That's good. It's good stuff. Wholesome moment. We needed that. Too bad it's on the last episode where everything's gonna catch on fire. <laughs> Hopefully, not everything. I wish I would have fun dancing. I just feel embarrassed the entire time. <laughs> what are you? They made her look badass right there, though. <laughs> For sure. How do you feel about being here today? Hell of a question. Do you have any reservations about the procedure? Any second thoughts? Also hell of a question. I fucking promise you I can do that a lot better than you can. <laughs> what do you want, bro? Truth. I want you to leave Fez alone. I want you to leave Jules alone. If you ever fuck with them again, I'll destroy your life. Likes to fuck little kids. I would not have a problem with doing that right fucking now. You're very pretty today. This guy's such a dick. I would just do it, man. I would just do it. He is tall. He's very tall. You need to take a step back, Nate. Mm-hmm. I said take a step back. Oh, shit. Keep it up. His dad's a big dude. I mean, he could probably throw him easy. Your rage right there. God damn. Oh shit. Is she about to fuck with Nate? That looks like a Nate's dad CD copy. Crap, man, this guy's dangerous. Jesus Christ. Even I get the heebie jeebies off this guy. It's like all gonna happen at the same time. Is that what you're trying to do? You're gonna build up every story? It's all gonna explode at the same time. Why does he write it this way? Why? It's not fair. That's just too much to watch and soak in, man. What is Fez about to do? Why? If you fuck around, I swear to God, I'll fucking kill you. God, it's just swirling everywhere right now. I don't even know what to say, honestly. Come on, Fez, don't, don't. Yet. Now, is he gonna do something stupid? You got a gun pointed right at Fog. She looks great as an ice skater. God, I'm just waiting for the shit to hit the wall right here, dude. <laughs> like, uh, I mean, this is nice. Cat is nice. It's like such a roller coaster right now. It's going up and down. Fez, please don't fuck your shit up, dude. Come on. I mean, like, we shouldn't be together. I 
what does that mean though? Like, are you gonna flip out? This is all just a ploy? You're gonna blackmail her later? Like, Jesus Christ, dude. Uh-oh. Fuck. They know it's his. So we all good? Fuck. God damn it, I hate it when shows do that! I don't know. See, see, this this is where I'm kind of against Jules on this. Like, I don't, I don't feel I like. Don't, I don't think this is a good idea. And there will be moments of relief in her and in you. Moments that feel so normal and calm and rewarding that she gives. two ways most people find themselves relapsing is during holidays and breakups. And it's just, I mean, you can call it most of the time. It's really, it's really a sad statistic. What are you gonna do, Rue? No. Oh, fuck. Oh shit, is this the video? They straight up do the video, that is so rad. Oh my god. Wow, that is epic. I've already seen this and this is epic. Like my god, I reacted to this video with Audrey. So freaking cool. Sing that shit. God damn. Guess you figure my two times to always equate to what I dream as I suffer. Till then. Son of a bitch. Oh, god damn it. I was wrong. I was so incredibly wrong. <laughs> oh, that means everything happens in season two. Fuck. It's a good thing I'm watching it, I suppose. I don't know. I don't know how to, I don't know how to think about that episode because I was kind of hoping to see more of the end stories, not just ruse. Like I kind of had a feeling it was leading to an, inev an inevitable relapse, but I was hoping to also kind of see a little bit more ending with like the Nate debacle. I mean, the whole Nate thing has been just really kind of almost shadowing the situation because it's just so insane what he's doing to all these people. I feel like I went through quite the roller coaster right there. There was a lot Lot to take in and I'm glad there there was some good story endings you know with Kat and the nice guy and then you've got I mean at least part of their story Rue and Jules kind of like you know making the the kissies and and, and just kind of looking like they're trying to have a good time together all right well that was episode eight I'm left a little heartbroken because I was expecting so much shit to hit the fan but it didn't happen I don't think I cried that episode <laughs> yeah <laughs> they don't all make me cry that's awesome this is number three that didn't make me cry thank you so much for watching you guys I appreciate it uh, thank you for the support and everything and I'll see you at the next episode, which is the backstory of I don't remember who. But it's one of those extra ones you guys keep reminding me about, so I appreciate it. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.